Hey, everybody, and welcome to How To Tuesday this week. We've had Scott Walker on the show before, and he is a wealth of information. I've got him on again because a lot of people have had questions about their electronics. Scott uses Simrad Electronics, and so what I wanted to do was catch him on a day when he's on the boat and let me call him or sit with him and talk with him about some of the simple things and some of the questions that people have asked. Now, a lot of people ask about mapping. And, you know, there's a lot of different chips that you can use, a lot of different third-party software. There's some software that comes installed on the unit. Scott, do you use a, a mapping chip or are you relying on the chip that com- or the mapping that is comes with the unit? When you buy your SIMRAD unit, it's going to come preloaded with the entire uh, navigation of the United States, uh, east and west coast, including Great Lakes. But it's kind of basic. If you want to enhance that, we're working now with CMAP and CMAP Reveal. I highly recommend you get this chip. Once it's installed, it's going to take this basic map, which is great for navigating, and it's going to enhance it for the area you're at with bottom structure, grass beds, and it's going to overlay Google Earth. You're going to be actually, you can pre-look at a destination just sitting on your boat before you leave the dock. If I run into the Bahamas, I can look at the dock in the Bahamas where I'm headed before I get there, and I'll feel like I've already been there. Cool little feature. I've got the chip installed on my chart reader, and now we're just going to uh, switch charts. So we're going to go to menu, and I've got CMAP US Enhanced, which comes with your unit, and we're going to switch it to CMAP Reveal. Bam. Now I have the entire island of Duck Key, the grass beds, the, the coral heads, the deeper channels right there. I can pick a rock. I can navigate right to it and check and see if there's any mangroves on it. Or I can jump in and see if there's lobsters. It's that simple. And this, this coverage is growing every day. Key West, Miami, Charleston, the, the, up to the Mid-Atlantic, the canyons. Find the area where you live, get that chart, and it's going to make your Simrad day that much better. All right, that's cool, Scott. So how are you actually using this chip to find fish or spots that you want to lobster or, you know, finding some kind of spot and then putting it into the GPS as a waypoint? Now that we've seen, now that we've got Duck Key all navigated, you see my path in and out. This is a, this is not a navigable channel, but it's local knowledge. I've got my tracks coming and going. That's just, that's what tracking's for. If you know how to come and go, when it gets dark, you can follow your track in and out. Now I want to go fishing. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, and CMAP's going to show me all the coral heads on the reef. If I know where they are, that's where I'm headed. If I want to just sit here for a few minutes, game plan around weather, weather conditions, whether I have to go bay or the ocean, I'm going to sit here right now, find an interesting looking place that I've never been before, and I'm going to give it a try. I've got my numbers where I know there are going to be some fish, but every day I try to find a new one. And using the the reveal chart, I'm going to be able to find a new rock to investigate, decide whether it goes into my full-time arsenal of great spots of fishing. It's that simple. Just sit at the dock, check out your chart, check out something new, get on the water and see if it works for you. Okay. So that works really good with inshore stuff. What about, are are you using this chip for um, like the really deep stuff when you're going sword fishing or deep dropping? Are you finding spots like that? All you have to do is go right into your menu again and go to options and chart options. I want to see high resolution bathmetrics. I'm going to click on that button. It's going to take away some of my navigation options, but then when I zoom out and then in to the swordfish grounds, the detail is going to just become stronger and stronger on the drop-offs. Now I can see I got my 1680 to 2000. I like sword fishing anywhere from 1500 to 1800. And now it's all all right there for me to choose what spot I want to fish on that day. Now even cooler is if I can find the West Hump and zoom in on that. At the more you zoom in, the more detail you get. Obviously, I've caught some tunas on this spot before, but actually, with the bathmetrics, it shows you the highest spot 
and the deepest spots and let you set up your drift. So that's just a click of one button. Back to menu, high, high resolution bathymetrics. Turn it off and it's just a, a lump in the middle of the screen. You want more detail? Turn on that bathymetrics. It'll take away a little bit of your information inshore, but you're not inshore anymore. You're outside looking for fish and you're checking all these humps, finding the high spots and making sure your drifts are right over top of them. That is a really a click of a button. Menu, high res bath, on and off. Look at that. Boom. You would never know that that's where you should start looking to try to bottom fish. But as simple as hitting lap button, zooming in, and now you'll be a better fisherman. All right, Scott, of course, I've got a lot more questions for you, and we're going to go over those in future episodes of How To Tuesday. But that's it for today. That's how to find a mapping chip that you like, install it. In this case, he's using CMAP, and he's putting that in there. We learned how to use the, the bathymetric uh, reveal and all of the different settings in the SIMRAD. Now, this is a pretty good audio, but this is also available on video on the Saltwater Experience YouTube channel, and you can actually see Scott going through the menu and pushing the button. So if you couldn't quite follow it on audio, you can go and check it out on video, that Saltwater Experience YouTube channel. As always, this is brought to you by Waypoint TV. Waypoint is the place where you can see all of your favorite outdoor content. You go to waypointtv.com, ways to watch, and you can find out how to get it not only on all of your computers and phones and everything like that, but your smart TV and also on the Plus channel, Samsung Plus, and other channels like that. That's Waypoint TV. All right. Thanks, and we will see you next week on How To Tuesday.